again. Uh, you seem to always be catching me when I'm in the middle of a good book. Only this time I'm reading with a friend. The Texas Tech Bookman. Now that I've recovered that, back to what I was talking about. The bookman, reading with me. He has no eyes, but he uh, looks over and protects the people of the Texas Tech campus, especially those who tend to venture into the Student Union building, which is where we're going today. Talk to some people, see what's happening. Let's go. in the second floor of the Student Union building, and I found these guys just walking around carrying crap. There it is. Stuff. And uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to them for a little bit, because they're just standing here. I don't know. But let's go. So, uh, hi, sir. Uh, could you tell me your name, please? My name's Jack Stencil. Jack Stencil. And uh, uh, what, are, what is going on here today? Uh, we're doing a free show here on Tech Campus, Tab After Hours. Uh, I'm playing tonight with my band outside the loop. And I can't remember who else was playing. David Dunn. David, no, is it David Dunn? No, it's not David Dunn. It could be somebody. Outside the Loop is the name of your band. That's the name of the band. Uh, uh, where, where'd you get that name? Uh, original, right here in Lubbock. All right. And uh, <laughs> and uh, what, what instrument do you play in this band? I play the bass and I also play the guitar. And jazz flute, of course. Got to play jazz flute. <laughs> bass, guitar, and jazz flute. <laughs> and... Um, uh, you know, I uh, pirates they play instruments too. Uh, mine is the kazoo. the kazoo. I'm I'm a I'm an expert at the kazoo. Um, if I ever need a kazoo player, I have to look you up. Look, yes, please. And uh, do you have you ever done any any shows on ships? Maybe on ships? Yes. No, actually, I've never have. It's great because it rocks. It goes back <laughs> in you know. Um, and uh, so what what else is is going on with this event? Is it just music or is there something else to it? Free food. Free. Free food. What kind? Um, I don't know. Chips, Chips salsa. salsa, drinks. Brownies. Brownies. Cookies. 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 And uh, all right. Uh, is there a specific perf purpose for this event or free music? Just free music. All right. Thank you for your time. No problem. Here we are at the Union Plaza, and uh, today we're talking with with Nikki, a cashier here at the Union Plaza. And uh, ma'am, could you tell me a little bit about just your average day? here at, at the, the Union Plaza? Uh, I don't know. Busy. Pretty busy? How, how many students would you guesstimate come through here every day? Yeah, a lot, like, about two or three hundred. Two or three hundred students through the day. Okay. And uh, would, are you, do you have pretty uh, variety, a good variety of food? Like, uh, do you have any seafood here? Yeah, at the Union Grill. Union Grill, they have seafood. And the Taco Mayo. Uh, yeah, Taco Mayo. Taco Mayo has seafood. It's a, it's a Mexican seafood. Weird. Okay. And here we are at Sam's Place with Nancy Sandoval. Is that correct? Yes. Because that's what your name tag says. Yes. I, I can read. Yes. And um, so, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, the people down at the cafeteria down there are talking trash about Sam's Place, saying their place is better, they have better food. What Do you, do you have any comment for them about that? Um, I don't think they've eaten here yet then. Because your, your place is the bomb? Yes, it is. It is. And uh, is there any retaliation you'd like to send towards their way? Um, mm, <laughs> our food sticks to itself. Everyone's always here. This is the place to be. Everyone is always here. That's that's what's important. And they don't have lollipops over there. Right. Uh, so, and um, you got 
full meals. Let's get a shot of these meals over here. Full meals and the whole lollipop snacking and Cheetos and, and chips and whatnot. So I think you have them beat. Uh, I agree. Um, and how long have you been working here? Uh, a year. One year. A and a little bit more? Uh, so, uh, how many people would you say you see come through here a day? A lot. Um, at night, like 200 plus. 200 plus at night. That's just at night, not even during the busy part of the day. Not even the busy part. Would you say during the day, like maybe 11 billion would come through? Maybe more. Maybe more. <laughs> That's quite a few. All right. Well, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to talk to us. Okay. Ladies, uh, could you tell me your names, please? Christina Hargis. Candice Asplong. Brooke Moore. Melissa Myers. Fine group of women we have here today. <laughs> and um, what, what are you actually doing here today? <laughs> <laughs> We're actually having a standards meeting for our sorority. <laughs> and what sorority is that? We're in fashion board. Fashion board? Mm -hmm. I don't believe I've ever heard of that one. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly do you do? What do we do? We're a social service sorority. Um, based in the community, and we do community service. And other than that, it's exactly like a Greek sorority, but it's cheaper. <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> Less Greek-like. <laughs> <laughs> Greek-like. Uh, uh, if you know, if if the Greeks were still alive uh, back when when the pirates were were pirating, we would have had some great battles. I, just, I would like to put that in. But um. Have you seen uh, 300, by the way? I have. Amazing. I, mean, I have. Twice, th th those are some... Yeah. I don't know where they found that many men I with the physical know. features of me, you know? <laughs> um, but, uh... I actually discovered I was a Spartan in a past lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Spartans, Greeks, there we go. Um, uh, what, what do you normally use the Student Union Building for? What, what would you normally come here to do? Our meetings on a regular basis. We don't have a cubicle upstairs, so we make... Our meetings right here. here. Uh, We're here exactly. every single day, all day. <laughs> <laughs> every day you meet. Yes. yes. <laughs> Not officially. Not officially. We come and go. Ah. But every day, right here. To eat. To, to eat? eat? Lunch, yeah. What? During, in the middle of classes and stuff. Mm -hmm. what, what's your favorite eating establishment they the, have here? The healthy choices. Healthy choices. Is there a name for the, these healthy choices? Well, I, like I the smart, smart, smart choices. Smart choices. Smart choices, and yeah. uh, which store do you, you get those from here? No, that is a store. That is a store. <laughs> it's called Healthy Choices? Smart, smart, smart Choices. Smart choices. Like healthy that. Choices is a like, brand oh, of the store. The <laughs> <laughs> green package. And um, you ever come here just particularly to study? I notice there's people around here studying. I have before places. to meet people to, for study groups and things like that. Mm. The rest of you? Mm -hmm. I don't study. I don't study either. <laughs> but if I was to study, I'd come here. <laughs> There's up those little quiet rooms. You ever go in the quiet oh, yeah. rooms? Just quiet little rooms. rooms. Right. Those. I've taken naps there before. <laughs> I, I don't like to study either. Uh, and what do you, what do you think about these statues, the so-called art here at Texas Tech? Were they a waste of money, or what's the deal I with really that? I really don't understand them. At I all. love them. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm an art anatomically minor, so. correct. <laughs> I'm an art minor, and I love it. Like, I think it, it's ad, it's interesting because people are like, "Wait, what's going on? Yeah. Like, wait, there's little guys everywhere falling through the beams, and they I have <laughs> they have male parts." <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know if I think it's a waste of money. If you let me know how much money we probably spent on these, a lot. The I'm fact sure. that he has his own street name is probably a good hint. Of how much money? She? She is Glenna Glenna Goodacre is a woman. <laughs> Glenna Goodacre is the one that did the lifelike yeah. ones over there. He has a street name somewhere around here. Who is it? I don't remember. It's Tom Otterness. <laughs> oh, it says Tom right there. <laughs> They're all right. I got lost along the way somewhere in there. I don't know what's going on. So, my rants about art. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you think you think they're beneficial because they get people talking kind of right? It's a discussion. Like if you go out there, the tornado. It's like people will sit sit there and look at the books and like, oh, I've read that. That was such a great book. Um, you know, rather than just, I mean, we sit out there and draw it. It's, it's fun. It's interesting. I mean, I've talked about it before and on numerous bases with other people. 
I'll be honest with you, they creep me out. I feel like, I feel like at any time they could jump down and attack me. I think that's, a, that's their intention, I don't know. <laughs> Their, their whole intention is to attack me. <laughs> Just you. Well, the yes. guys are falling, like suicidal ones over there. <laughs> I would imagine. I don't know. They don't I look very happy. I think they're good because they're subtle unless you're like really bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you notice them a lot more. I, you get bored a lot? <laughs> I don't study. I don't have anything else to do. There you go. <laughs> look at the ceiling. I sit in here all well, day. <laughs> Talk to the... Well, thank you for your, for your time, ladies. Appreciate thank it. You.